Okay. Okay. <laughs> there you guys, four minutes. This looks like a taste. Yes, it's not a taste. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> I know. Oh, Sorry. Interview table. Sorry. Yeah. Hi everyone. Oh, my gosh. How do I make this cool? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing heels. I promise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Hi. Hi everyone. No, I got it. How's it going? <laughs> You're also far away. I'm not very used to speaking um, as myself in front of people. I'm used to being somebody else in front of a camera. So this is... Um... Ivan Strahovski! Your Chuck panelists! I didn't even get to say hi to her backstage. All right, let's have a seat. Ivanka, that is my Polish name. Ivanka, or Ivana, but Ivanka was the one that stuck. Not Ivanka, Ivanka. Like Willy Wonka. <laughs> Yvonne, you're Australian to Polish parents. You use an American accent in your TV show in the US, and you've come back to play an English character in this film. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like accents? It's a bit, <laughs> I do, I kind of do. It, it's, um, it's fun. The English accent was very sexy, by the way. Oh, really? So, so was the Italian one. You were both I was going to say, you better follow that one. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh. I mean, you know, yeah. I, was your, I was your servant. So it would be so cool to see, see them interact made, now. It made you do things, yeah. Matt. Like yeah, you did. You made me do terrible things. Terrible things. And I, I, I hope, I hope this isn't artless, but uh, Lawrence is single. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> J Law is on the prowl. J J Law is single. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, so uh, Max, you and Ron have not had a scene uh, in a few seasons. Her, her tendency, where does it come from? I, I mean, I, repression, uh, <laughs> oppression, um, <laughs> all the Eschens, um, <laughs> mm -hmm. depression. Um, <laughs> there's, <laughs> I guess there's many. Um, Over in Australia, you got, I mean, you can't go camping in Australia. You'd be killed by every animal imaginable. I, this is like a bone that I have to pick with everyone in America who comes up to me over the last 16 years that I've lived here and said, how do you survive? How does anybody survive in Australia with all your spiders and snakes? And I'm like, I yeah. don't understand. This is this is the opposite. I feel like Americans are wrong here. Really? You guys have bears and giant animals that will literally shred you to pieces <laughs> and kill you. Yeah. Uh, wouldn't you rather just have a little snake bite you and just you die <laughs> like that than, no. than a bear just shredding you to pieces? Isn't it obvious? I don't Zachary Levi's favorite knock knock joke. Here we go. Okay. That's my favorite knock knock joke. I'm gonna draw you right. start. Go ahead. Knock knock. Who's there? There you okay, go, guys. folks. There you guys. go. Uh, 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 practice the move. <laughs> Did you have a creature that, the, 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 from the movies or yeah. something like that that was a particular no. oh, goblin God. to you? For me, it was the, the imaginary scary monster under the bed. And I never wanted to put my feet on the ground in the middle of the night because I was scared the monster was going to come out from under the bed and grab my ankles. Well, see, the problem with, with Frankenstein is he's too big to fit under the bed. He wouldn't, be right. able to, he wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> I mean, she does have a couple of moments where um, she realizes that she was an absolute um, bag is the word that comes to mind. But... Stone face. I, uh, I can't see you. I'm talking to like some nothing, so um, I have no visual reference of what uh, what's going on up there. So um, I can only imagine how many times you've taken your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> only three times. Only three times. When when they run out of questions, I take my shirt off. <laughs> no, no one's gonna ask a question. Now, it's like you just set that up for you to. More of my dream roles come from my childhood stuff because I grew up reading all the sort of classic novels and Pride and Prejudice and Emma and I love period stuff and I grew up in Shakespeare and so I would that my real dream thing is to do something like that from that era because you love corsets because well I don't know about corsets 
I don't know about corsets. Bustles. I don't think I would survive a corset. A bustle. Too much of a boy for a corset. <laughs> and fans still want to see you in a role of that capacity. How do you feel about that? About uh, fans suggesting you, su suggesting you, and championing you for that kind of, of, of role? Hey, uh, I'll take it. Look, give me a cape, <laughs> uh, a mask, and some kind of a <laughs> wand or something. <laughs> uh, I'm there. I'm all for it. <laughs> Great. Did you know in advance about Jester? How how early did you know about this? We found out on the bus on, on the, the way bus here. On the way over. <laughs> And I had, we had dinner with everyone last yeah. night, too. I was like, how did you not mention this at dinner, Vic, yeah. Scott, that you're singing tomorrow? Yeah, we had no idea. So, I mean, Yvonne and I would have choreographed something had we had enough time. Yeah. Maybe we would have got that pom-pom sound and a little cheerleader routine or something. <laughs> We say it all the time. We just had such an incredible family on that set. It was we really did. No matter how it could be four in the morning on Friday, Friday morning, yeah. and we're still finding ways to laugh and have a good time. And or it could be five a.m. on Monday morning, and Zach's eating muesli and yogurt and breathing <laughs> yogurt breath in my face, which I have hated. <laughs> Hated the yogurt breath. I have a thing against yogurt. I, it makes me gag. I wish all, I liked it. And I, every time Zach would eat this yogurt, and I'd be like, oh. Yogurt. And then we'd have to kiss, and I'd be like, <laughs> I never <laughs> ate yogurt at five in the morning. You it ate yogurt in music. That was no, your no way. That never was your breakfast. Really no, my breakfast was, was like an egg thing. No, it wasn't. And then I'd have yogurt like around eleven thirty. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. Well, you okay. did. A, you had yogurt at some point. Of course I did. It's good for you. <laughs> good old Greek yogurt. <laughs> Get some granola. Uh -huh. oh. in, in this season, uh, you spend more time in your little cell um, uh, than we spend <laughs> outside of it. So I wanted to ask about what that's like for you in, in preparing for scenes and, and encompassing Serena. Well, first of all, I was very grateful to be in my cell because it means I don't have to be out in the Canadian winter. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> that's a bonus. Mm. Good, good. Oh yeah. I am messy. Mess, messy. If aliens invaded today and we had to go to war, how long were the, would those skills that you've learned for your profession keep you alive? You know, I, I wonder the same thing myself. Uh, after that many years of, uh, of learning how to operate guns of all kinds, you know, would I really be able to face a white spike? Probably not. Not with that <laughs> attitude. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, there. I'd like to think I could, but, you know, yeah, that's terrifying. Yeah. Terrifying. I'm reading it or in the middle of a scene just thinking, this is horrendous. So the best to maintain this cool, calm, collected thing, which seems to be doing very well, um, to try and get everyone to do what he says. The tape measure can't bend. This is making no sense whatsoever. Uh, but this is what we do on the set of Chuck. <laughs> It's a Bradley Woodford question because it's a grown up question. <laughs> about to say the same, Brad. Take oh, it away. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. It must have been fun to shoot such a big film back in Australia. Yeah, it's always great. That was my fourth movie uh, in Melbourne, Australia. So it's great to go back. I sort of feel like I'm part of a family there and I know all the crew. And yeah, it's great. And the coffees. <laughs> the coffees. I oh, know you can't get a good coffee here. He just doesn't <laughs> want to stand next to me and take a photo with me. Yeah. <laughs> I stink. You're not too bad from right here. Yeah. No. Oh my god, we did it! Oh my Bye. god. <laughs> I have no idea how to do this. <laughs> well, I was saying to all the millennials, like, God bless you, because I, I, this is the first time I'm doing it. Hi, my love. Hi. I love I this hair. Ooh, thanks. Is this for a, a job or did you just get sick of life? What's happening? It's, you know, it's for life. I made a life life choice uh, for once in my life with my hair. And I just- I love it. Off, yeah. I love it. It's so chic and so sexy and so edgy. Thanks, thank you. Welcome. Okay, well, you're here. Yvonne, your hair is gorgeous and amazing and wonderful. <laughs> Isn't it great? <laughs> I probably should have uh, done some more running preparation. <laughs> I, running up those hills was really a lot like up and down with all the gear. It was the gear. It's so heavy, you know, and, and just, um, you know, in, in combat training with, you know, I, I mean, I felt like my arms were going to drop off after doing the drills, for, you know, the boot camp. So, um, yeah, my, my respect <laughs> to people who do that every single day. And obviously in this, the aliens aren't actually there. I mean, I salute you if they are. <laughs> um, but what are you seeing instead? Like, are people making weird noises? What's going on? 
Well, we kind of do three different takes. We do we do a take with nothing at all, uh, which is the most weird because you're just kind of you know. Um, pretending to thin air uh and then then there, you know there's a stunt guy with the gray unitard kind of um ah, you know <laughs> <Doing Great impression. laughs> right uh and then, and then there's a, a prosthetic kind of half alien like a, a head and you know guys behind it kind of operating it which is probably the most useful but i have to say i really enjoy um doing the version to thin air because it just kind of gives you the the freedom in a, in a lot of ways, even though you feel like a mega, um, yeah, mega. We had a great working relationship. Uh, there was a, a time when we were doing a scene and I was, uh, we were both shooting guns next to each other and we did a take and then he said, oh, you know, would you mind um, just aiming your gun a little to the left because your, your shell casings are hitting me in the face. <laughs> so... <laughs> Which, you know, if, if it had been the other way around, I, I would have been like, cut, cut, what, um, what, you know. So he's, he, yeah, he was tough and uh, he liked the hot metal hitting him in the face and just <laughs> did that for the first take and he was cool. So, yeah. Well, I mean, especially when people are constantly coming up with gifts of like Serena next to, you know, whomever <laughs> in the real world and, and making comparisons. Are you working in a subway shop? Am I allowed to say what, no. the real answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> or, or yes. I don't know where I'm working. That's correct. <laughs> what if Castle had like a, a pneumatic says? tube that you could just thunk? Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's right? a subway right? sandwich. Yeah, I yeah. work in pneumatic on all my interviews. I like that. That's a great word. <laughs> Have you read we the... We actually don't know. I'm not even kidding. We don't know. Whatever. No, so, don't I give know. me that crap. I know the answer to that question. Oh, you do? Oh, I don't know the answer to that question. Okay, answer it. Don't you don't no. have to take your. I do not know where I'm working. Ah, uh, see, there you go. Great. Managed to reach out to so many people. Um, oh, I thought that was me. <laughs> um, so your husband, Joe, aka the Commander, yes, is also. Yes. We're gonna say on the bad side. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're all misunderstood. Let me pass the mic. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm actually the webmaster of Strahotsky.com, a big fan site for everyone. Wow. Uh, so uh, I actually brought a bear, Strahotsky.com bear. I was hoping I could give to you or get passed up to you or something. Oh wow. Yeah. I don't know if someone can take it to you or I can bring it. Throw it. You've dressed it up beautifully, Yvonne, but we all know that <laughs> we all know that Serena's madly in love with Mark Tuello, and that, that <laughs> it's game over anyway. As much as we want to talk about this, it's you and Mark right now, right? <laughs> yeah, you guessed it. <laughs> we know that your character's name is Hannah McKay. Yeah, um, but we don't know much else. Is there anything you can tell me about her? Oh boy, this is gonna be <laughs> tough. <laughs> Uh, what I can say about Hannah McKay um, is that she is a woman. <laughs> a woman. Let's start with that. That's that's good. Um, Another proctologist. <laughs> Shut up. You're not a proctologist. No, I'm not. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. You're in the position. I am totally. I'm literally just to be a part of this interview. I'm waiting for my checkup. I'm like, hang on a second. Wait a minute. Using the whole fist there, Doc. <laughs> Yvonne, for you, what's something that you would want to ask uh, right when you got, if you got to the future, something to be curious about knowing? I mean, I think I'd go straight with the practical kind of thing and be like, what should I be investing in? Ah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's smart. You know, what's going to do well? Um, yeah, forget about the deep and meaningful stuff. I don't think I could take it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coming back to Dexter this season, but we're midway through the season and I have not seen you yet. Yes, because it's a secret when I come back. Oh, I don't like secrets. I know. Nobody likes secrets. Hey, uh, this is Yvonne Strahovski. I'm about to go live um, on the LA Times Facebook page if you want to tune in um, and listen to my interview. Okay, bye. <laughs> it's a lot of action and craziness and, and hotness. I like those. I have a funny story about Zach, actually. It's not in Yeah, great. 
No, there was this, I just thought of this actually. There was one time <laughs> where we were in the chuck bedroom and we, you were lying on the bed and we were doing... I think I know this story. <laughs> I've told this story. <laughs> and we were so tired because we used to work really long hours on this show. And, and Zach's lying on the bed and I'm standing there and I have a line and, and they call action. And so he says a line and then I say my line, which requires a response. <laughs> And the next thing you know, he's asleep. Past in the middle of the scene. In the middle. I literally fell asleep. And I thought he was joking. And I was like, Zach, because are, you, are you joking? And it's like. No, I did not snore. Okay, he didn't She's snore. embellishing. I just did that for Not that I don't effect. snore. No. If you could bring one person back from the dead and have lunch with them, Go wherever you want to. Where would you go? What, who would it be? Why? All that good stuff. Oh, I think it would be William Shakespeare. Because <laughs> I, I grew up on the stage and I, my, I did my first uh, Shakespeare play when I was 14. I played Viola in Twelfth Night and I just, I don't know, I've always just loved Shakespeare and his sonnets. And Where would you take be... him? Where would you take him? What would you dine on? No, maybe I'd go take him to see Baz Luhrmann's version of Romeo and Juliet and see what he thought about it. <laughs> I'm sure they will think of something. Um, I, I can't imagine what else they can think of other than belly dancing outfits. Yeah. I'm providing the what they're going to make me do. Are any of those costumes your favorite? Some one of those you like the most that they made you wear that you're like, okay, this. Well, is I, can't, I did like the belly dancing. Once <laughs> I figured out how to do it, it was it was it was fun. Yeah. Did they tell you? Did they give you a short lesson? Or? I, I did. I had, I had a quick lesson. lesson. Yeah. Yeah. What, oh my god, this comment. Maddie, you're so inappropriately dressed for a work function. <laughs> Who was that? Who said that? Purple breezes? Honestly? I'm on vacation in Mexico. I can do whatever the hell I want. You look... No, don't let the <laughs> vacation shame you. You look fantastic. No, I, uh... Uh, there is a lead up to a wedding. Uh, but, you know, we have to sort of leave it hanging as to will they or won't they make the altar. But do they? Well, we can't say. I know. It's different than um, watching right. a version of, of it already. In a, Mike in a for film. Yvonne. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. I, I was saying, sorry. I think, uh, what's the word? Like, um, there was a, there was just an energy that was, um, I'm, I'm blanking on the word that I want to use, but, but, um, we're just really on the same page. So I know when I sat down with you in season one, um, the guys were teasing you used to do a, a kind of crump dance. Oh, do you yeah. still do the crump dance between <laughs> the scenes? A little, yeah. The crump comes out. <laughs> Chris, you're amazing at that stuff. I'll never. There, there's that great moment with you. You're one handing the rope and you're sliding down the rope, and you've got the. Um, machine gun in your other hand, it's so um, badass. It looks great. I lost all of my fingerprints that day on that rope. <laughs> <laughs> we had to run up that hill over and over again. Um, that was, that was tough. I mean, my, my second would have to be Killer Elite, even though I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> but, but now that I know now that I know Jason Statham's in it, I'm going to be watching it. Uh, I'm a huge Jason wait, you Statham. were supposed to say now that now that you know that the, Yvonne Sterhoff's well, in it. Are, Come on. Are now. you in the new Fast Seven movie coming out? Uh, Chalk knows Kung Fu. Uh, maybe Sarah might get a little jealous that she's no longer the uh, the Kung Fu master in the team. I don't know. Last question for you guys: Have you become avid eaters of Subway? Have you? We're supposed to say yes. 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 <laughs> so, in other words, the answer is maybe. No, yes. We're actively working on it. Yeah. Well, we Volkov is back, um, and there are some lovely twists and turns. Any further information that I may give will destroy the episode for everybody watching. So I just stop it, there. Did you raise your hand a lot? What, what was your high school experience like? Oh, I, I think I, I'm similar a little bit. I mean, not that I was raising my hand a lot, but I was definitely like, um, I liked to do well at school. I, yeah. <laughs> I liked to participate in mm -hmm. school. Yeah. Do you, do you have a lot of flexibility? Like, can you 
Can you throw I don't it? even think I could stand up at this point after seeing that, but uh, okay. it's very- Any discussions of you two working together again? Oh, hell no. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, I barely was, survived this really... one. You not? No way. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love her. No, I, I absolutely, I'd work with her again in a heartbeat. She's an amazing actress. She's incredibly professional and- uh, you know, the camera loves her. You, you, can't, you can't get a bad angle on her. I tried. <laughs> I tried really hard. I instructed the camera crew. And really they, get they, in they there. came back to me, but like, we tried. We tried. Somehow it's Sorry. not working. It's not working. Um, you know, just. I kind of feel journey. like I'm on the wrong side here. I feel like I should be showing my. Look at that. My hairdo. Look how that works. See, you just do si do. Yeah. Always defer to the lady when she's asking for a certain You're side. On my dress. Oh! God We're just like a regular couple. I'm stepping all over her train. That's right. Why they call it a train, I don't know. Mm. Really understand her. I kind of, I like to call her, or I, I call myself her best friend because she's definitely not mine. <laughs> um, we sort of have a, have a different uh, outfit uh, on. Well, outfit, it's paint, but we'll call it an outfit. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> very rude to each other in a fun way you know nothing that is suitable for children to hear in this interview actually <laughs> so I can't give you too much information <laughs> now uh, if future Chris or future Yvonne were to show up in the present day what would you hope that they would say to you I hope that they say everything's gonna be really great yeah like and you believe you know. it <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know I hope they say, keep doing what you're doing. It works yeah. out just fine. Mm. And they're not like, don't do it. You go, what? Don't do what? You know? Right. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. Always a pleasure to see you. Yay.